I wanted to quickly touch upon this, which I saw today, courtesy of Ami Leon Dor, regarding these New Balance Rainers. And the first thing I went to mention about this was that, thank God, thank Christ, this isn't that same model that they were banging and rinsing out for the last couple of years, it feels like, and they've even had them in a high. I forgot what number it is. Is it a 250 or something? I forget what number it is. Let me see if I can find it. Ami Leon Dor New Balance. What is it? I said 550. They were absolutely rinsing these, right? These flipping 550s. So I'm happy now we have like a, just a different silhouette that we can kind of enjoy, even though, you know, these suede numbers here at the top are absolutely maddening to look at. Really, really beautiful. But I thought these 550s were really, really done into the ground, being like a dead horse. I'm completely over them, even though they look really nice in this picture here. I'm kind of over that silhouette. I need something fresh, I need something new. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, finally fresh and new shoes and these really speak to me these are probably the most quintessential me shoes i've ever seen in my entire life they're essentially like what i would describe as like a new balance version of a of a hiking boot or maybe a new balance version of a lava dome is that a lava dome is that what i'm thinking of i think i think i'm of a lava dome let's see if i'm thinking of a lava dome there was a nike shoe an acg that i love nike acg lava dome I think it was a high, there was a high one I'm thinking of, a particular ACG that I like. There we go, I think that's that one. Okay, maybe it's a lava dome, maybe it's that original. But yeah, they, and these two, oh, RIP Gua, man, RIP Gary. Gone for Never never Forgotten, Guarism as well. He had a particularly stupendous blog when it came to covering all this stuff. But this is maybe what I was thinking more so along the lines of these kind of ACG lava dome type boots. I've actually got an OG pair of these actually in my collection like from 1980 something that i've absolutely cracked and banged up that i'm probably gonna end up pulling out one day or the other but that's what i was basically thinking that um, um that new balance rainer kind of looks similar to in terms of its shape in terms of its appeal the eyelets and whatnot it kind of looks similar to that but maybe not but anyway regardless love it regardless it's more of a mid boot less of a high maybe it's giving you dana vibes because I feel like now because of winter everybody's obsessed with hiking boots or outdoor boots in general that they can wear to cross country events or that they can kind of splash about in town and you know wait outside for ubers and not worry if a car comes by and splashes their feet because they're wearing gore-tex suits or they have these you know um waterproof uppers on their flipping shoes which i don't think these particularly have actually let's actually scroll down to the details they have a proper upper that they don't it's brown new back overlay gore-tex underlays oh of course it does it has a gore-tex underlay vibram sole too which is absolutely booming vibram rubber outsole eva foam co-branded logo and tongue woven a million door logo on the inner sole debossed flying nb logo on the saddle and they're made in china but yeah, I love these, man. These look really, really, really good. I'm really up on these for the most part. The laces are nice. These kind of metal D-ring eye stays as well. I'm pretty, um, or oh, eyelid, sorry. I'm really, really down on this embossed logo on the side. I kind of get a boner from. I do like the fact that it's not printed. I do like the fact that it's maybe not the traditional stitch sort of thing. It's kind of something that's been embossed and stamped onto a leather. I think that look really nice once you wear those shoes in a little bit. They will look stupendous. The fact that it's got Gore-Tex lining is absolutely stupendous also because it means even though they look plush and they're surrounded by suede and mesh that your feet are going to be icy and dry and non-moist and all that malarkey when you wear them every day so i'm a big fan of that they look pretty stupendous looking down also you don't have that annoying pointy toe they're not aggressively boxed over also it just got that nice kind of rounded shape on the toe box there that makes them easy to wear um bonus now i'm gonna say bonus points on laces but not another kind of faux pas of mine that i always kind of despise is when they don't lace the shoes properly for a product shoot these are just horrible they're always meant to go kind of over here like it's meant to go as a bottom mitts meant to go flat this is meant to go a little bit over as you know again it's just like a ocd type of thing but once you see it, you kind of unsee it that's a bit disappointing but i don't mind the little green hit there is beautiful to match the little green hit there on the outside the logo also as you can see there you got the embossed new balance stamp there with the ami leondor written down there also on the underneath that looks really plush some nice details on the laces 
maybe this would have been extra nice to see but i don't know how much it would have cost them to do but if they were able to get some metal tips on the end of these and have the new balance and amelion door kind of embossed on them that would be nice they probably would be a friends and family thing i wonder why they don't do that anymore nowadays it feels like maybe nike do that quite often but other brands don't usually do that friends and family editions it's mostly a nike thing you don't really see ali that's doing them right for the most part of their collaborations but that that, that i feel like is a far better use of influencer seeding then would you be just giving the influencers the same thing everyone else is going to buy ahead of time i don't really think it works as well as they probably think it does for the most part i think you're better off because the guys that people would want to emulate and look at to kind of see if they look well they don't really wear seeded things like the kids who like asap nast or like rocky or like lucas sabat when's the last time you've seen those guys wear seeded you know sportswear sneakers they don't really do that right they don't really flex them that way like they used to in the beginning when they when they were first coming up those guys would be wearing those things and they would be kind of showing them off because they're so happy to get a nike link i feel like nowadays maybe because they're not getting paid and they realize that nike is basically taking advantage and using their platform and their reach to kind of you know get people to or get their shoes to sell out but aren't properly compensating them they kind of pull away from it I'm not too sure, maybe because they've got other deals that maybe doesn't work. But either way, um, it is a little bit upsetting to see that kind of thing. I would I would like to see more friends and family, then allow, allow the influencers to get that, and then let us just buy all the regular shoes, because then it gives us more as well to kind of purchase, which is obviously you know a dream too far, I think, and probably too sensible. Uh, this is another little point I'll make also that I like. I do like this midsole outsole match. I feel like there is, as much as I do enjoy a good gum sole, a good contrasting midsole a good off-white midsole i think it is nice sometimes when you have especially with a hiking boot you have like a solid color on the midsole and the outsole so you have this nice it gives this nice kind of perception that it's a bit thicker it kind of gives it that kind of you know that oomph that kind of security test that bravitas that you wouldn't necessarily get if it was a different color in my opinion but again what do i know when it comes to these things in it what do I know? But yeah, I'm a big fan of those. Oh, what am I doing? I went backwards for no reason. Let's see this great colorway also is fucking fantastic. Before we get into the other colorway, which one I got here? Yeah, we got two. What color are Did they say what color they are? Name? Brain of boot. One, two. Okay, one, two, three. So I guess you got that brown, you got that gray, and you got that kind of creamy color. I do like. Unfortunately, it looks like that green hit only applies to that one color, that green hit on the top of the sort of a uh, collar i guess you'd call it only applies there but i do like this color also i think they'll all work really really well i don't think you'd be that bothered if you ended up with only one pair maybe maybe this might be the least favorite i guess out of both maybe these will probably end up being the first ones that people will probably run to because they remind everybody of those kind of traditional sort of kind of you know hiking boot type colorways in terms of the browns the blacks that little hit of green as well kind of reminds you of like a safety orange a good bright little pop to kind of give your shoes a bit of you know oomph, a little bit of jazz a little bit of je ne sais quoi and then you've got these ones as well this kind of like creamy creamy custody brown with the purple Oof. these look absolutely banging those are nice it's kind of like an aubergine sort of vibe going on here that looks like a new is that new what is that? that's new book isn't it it's not even suede these are going to look fantastic once they're warning this is the kind of shoe that reminds me of like a tom Sachs mars yard they look stupendous obviously brand new but once you beat these bad boys into the ground and give them a bit of action they're going to look stupendous and the price too 205 for this i think is a bargain for me considering how expensive new balances have been over the last few years i feel like 205 for these are really really good so when they do eventually come out i think they're kind of meant to come out on the 15th i think or something i would definitely say to you to keep your eye out no they're coming out december 16th so definitely keep your eye out if you haven't already these are gonna be very very popular i feel like for most people when they do eventually do come out don't don't delay don't delay today honestly try your best to get them i know a million dollars flipping hard to get you know stuff legit because obviously it always sells out but i do like them look at that little color i like that there's a different this is a good look here i wonder what this is i wonder if this is like a different application color wise or different material i don't think it is i think this is both the same on the color you got this kind of this little um y color thing that on the other pair is green it looks like it's a different shade of cream and off-white or whatever brown than it is to the main body but i don't think it's a different material i just think it's a different um different color for the most part but i do like it, it looks really really nice 
there's not a lot of kind of stitching of logos on it. Everything's kind of been embossed. It looks like embossed there, embossed on the tongue. I wonder if they've got anything on the heel tab. It doesn't really show you, does it? Uh, anything on the back of the heel? I think there might be something there also. But for the most part, I'm a fan of it. Leather insoles, Gore-Tex lined as well. I love them, man. I feel like it's going to look really nice. Can't wait to see them in real life if I end up getting a pair. Fingers bloody crossed in it. That's all you can hope for.